Hey guys, Crewman here, and in this video, I want to compare the 4060 Ti and the 3060 Ti, but not in gaming because we all know the 4060 Ti is on a gaming GPU. I'm talking about mining, and I know lately I've basically kind of said the 3060 Ti was the last GPU that was worth buying from Ampere for mining. <sighs> I'm here to tell you that's not the case anymore. Do not buy this thing for mining. It is not worth it anymore. Even at its market price of $250, I would not buy it for mining anymore. And let me explain why. Now, I get that it has a worse memory bus, as you can see right here. And otherwise, they're very, very, very similar. I mean, they're basically identical. <laughs> Thanks, NVIDIA, for that. But let me go over the reasons why it is time to abandon this GPU and start buying this one. I know for me going forward, and this is a hot take that's probably going to aggravate a lot of people, I am selling all of these and replacing them with all of these. So let's go over why. Okay, so I'm going to be doing a pretty deep dive into the, 30 set, the 4060 Ti and the 3060 Ti. I hope I don't mess this up recording this. Now, how I'm going to do this is I'm going to basically pick two algorithms. I'm going to pick one core and one memory because I think it is worth triple mining with all GPUs, and I would only be triple mining. Now, obviously, you can adjust this data to suit your needs, but like I said, I believe triple mining is the way forward, and I will do all of my data regarding that. Obviously, you want to uh, adjust any of my findings to match your situation because all of our situations are not the same. Now, let's get to it. All right, so... You can see, let's start with the average price of these things. So it costs $255 on average for a 3060 Ti. The 4060 Ti is about $350 average. Now let's go over the hash rate per core and memory algorithms. Now I own about 21 G, uh, 3060 Ti's and I own about 12 4060 Ti's. So unlike a lot of other GPUs I've tested, I certainly feel like I've gotten enough of a uh, enough GPUs to get a good spread, and I feel like my numbers are very accurate and the best you can get on these GPUs. So first, we're going to do Ergo, and we're going to do Ergo and Nexilla. So with the 3060 Ti, you get about 98.94 mega hash on Ergo, and you get about 692 mega hash on Nexilla. Now, Ergo is a memory-based algorithm, and Nexilla is a core-based algorithm. On the 4060 Ti, you get 67 mega hash on Nexzilla, or I'm sorry, on Ergo, and you get 171 mega hash on Nexzilla. So now that we have those two pieces of information, let's continue. So for a thousand dollars, right, you get yourself either so a thousand ish. I think it comes out to like a thousand twenty for four thirty sixty Ti's, and it's like a thousand thirty ish for three forty sixty Ti's. So the number is close enough. So you essentially get, like I said, you get four 3060 Ti's versus three 4060 Ti's. So if we look at the total hash rate, right? So four 3060 Ti's give us 395 mega hash in Ergo and, uh, and 2,076 mega hash in Nexilla. The three 4060 Ti's give us 201 mega hash in Ergo and 3,213 mega hash in Nexilla. So essentially with the 3060 Ti's you get 100% more memory <laughs> memory hash rate for four of them versus or for $1000, but the 4060 Ti's give you about 40% more core uh hash rate for $1000. So I mean obviously there's there's positives and negatives in all of those and you can weigh those out. But here is the most damning in my opinion, one of the most damning results here. So we've got power consumption, right? Now, this is average power consumption across all of mine. So the 3060 Ti gives you 115 watts triple mining. The 4060 Ti gives you 105 watts triple mining. So essentially, four 3060 Ti's is 460 watts total, whereas three, 3060, or three 4060 Ti's is about 360 watts total. So the 3060 Ti's use about 20%-ish more power, which in my personal situation is very bad because I am out of power. Let's move on to the resale value. Well, as you guys all know, the 3060 Ti is 
It's 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 hold it's actually gone up a little bit from this past week, but it's holding at around two hundred fifty dollars. So, I mean, obviously they they resell for less than the forty sixty Ti's, and I think that will continue. Now, how much will that matter? Uh, I don't really know. It just depends on what the market does. Um, so for that one. Uh, I feel like it's kind of a wash because the 4060 Ti's are kind of holding firm right now at around like 350-ish, but they've been there for a while. Whereas the 3060 Ti is kind of like bouncing up and down because I think a lot of people just don't understand um, that just because the 3060 Ti has a better memory bus doesn't make it a better miner. So I think there's a lot of false information out there that has probably led to the 3060 Ti having a higher resale value than it should have. Now, this one is where it kind of like blew my mind. Profitability. So this is just based on today's numbers. Filming is uh, February 14th, 2014. Uh, essentially, the mining specs that I gave you above where you would make 30, you would either, you would be making 30 cents per 3060 Ti. Oops, I actually, I wrote this down incorrectly. You'd be making 30 cents per 3060 Ti, right? And then you'd be making 40 cents per 4060 Ti. Let me just write this down so people can see it. And then 0.40 per uh, 4060 Ti. So the profitability is literally the same, right? Let me move this window over a little bit. The profitability is literally the same, but these things use 20% more hash. And then here's another thing that you guys, that I didn't even bring up, 3060 Ti's have no more warranty. Like I am at my last legs on my three-year warranties with my 3060 Ti's. I'm not complaining, they did their job, they did their job well, but you get a warranty for the 4060 Ti's where you don't get one for the 3060 Ti's. Guys, I'm telling you, this is damning. Like I was still kind of on the let's buy 3060's, 3060 Ti train. Now, uh, I mean, 20% more power, right? Let me move this. 20% more power for essentially the same profitability. Now, obviously, you you get more memory, you get more memory mega hash with a 3060 Ti, but the efficiency is this is is the same as far as memory algorithms on a 3060 Ti and a 4060 Ti. So yes, you get less yield, but you also get more core yield. So Honestly, guys, to me, this is a no-brainer. I mean, I admit before I wasn't the mo I wasn't the biggest advocate of efficiency. Sometimes I I'm still not at time to time. But guys, this is twenty percent for me personally, right? What I'm doing now, after doing all these numbers, I am going to start listing every single thirty sixty Ti I have. With the objective is to dump all of them and to replace them all with forty sixty Ti's. That is my goal now. If I can free up 20% power and maybe even a few slots in my server cases, which wouldn't be a bad thing, that's big for me. Guys, I'm out of power. So like efficiency really does matter. And I think it's gonna start mattering for a lot of people, especially if you consider that we're probably like a year, we're probably still like a year away from when the real bear market starts or the bull run starts. I could be wrong. This is just me kind of speculating. This GPU is the past. You did well. I'm really proud of you. You did well for us. You did good. But it's time to put them out to pasture. And this one, this is the future. I've been pro 4060 Ti for a long, you know, a few months now. And there's plenty of video evidence of me roasting them. But guys, it is time. The 30 series just cost too much. You're not getting that two for one anymore. It's not four to two. It's not you know, you know, if it was four 3060 Ti's to two 4060 Ti's, maybe it'd be a different conversation. But guys, you, you lose efficiency, you lose warranty, and the profitability is the same. And honestly, I'd rather, I, and they're more dense. And density is a thing too now, especially coming up in the summer, guys. It's not even something I considered. Density could be an issue if you have too many GPUs and your setup isn't ready for it. Now, my setup is fine. So density doesn't matter as much to me, but that's another thing to take into consideration. 
Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. Sound off down below what you think. Does your situation say the 3060 Ti still has a place, or are you with me and it's time to move on and to embrace the future, to embrace the 40 series? I want you to mine with 40 series. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Man.